can't be opened on this side. Oh, our good friend. Or that can't be opened on this side. Nice to see you again. Emmett Elwood had had enough. All his life, he'd been surrounded by the same small-minded, impolite, ignorant people in town. Their endless gossip, their nose-picking, chewing food with their mouths open, not washing their hands after visiting the restroom, touching things, touching everything. The world was going to hell. He'd watched day after day how all the nice things in life in Bright Falls were spoiled and ruined forever. There would be a just and terrible reckoning. Emmett had imagined many times how we'd make them pay. He had lovingly tended his anger, made it grow hotter. It was out in the open now. Ugly and slobbering, they reached at him with their unwashed hands. He beat them down, beat them until they no longer moved. And then he'd wash his hands with a strong antibacterial disinfectant. Hey man, I lived through COVID too, I get it. I'm the poet stuff. I'm pretty sure that this is, uh, this stuff probably all belongs to Cynthia. Because she was a big fan of Thomas Zane. <clears throat> house of Zane, renowned filmmaker, establishes artist commune in Bright Falls. Oh, yeah, this was the artist commune, and this was the house that Zane built. Thomas Zane, born Thomas uh, Sane in Finland, and his partner Barbara Jagger, born ba Baba Yakala in Finland, had recently established an artist commune here in Bright Falls. Mr. Zane's purchased the old manor outside town, and the couple's already settled in. In his home country, and internationally as well, Mr. Zane is well-known and respected auteur filmmaker, a rising star already compared to the likes of Stanley Kubrick and Ingmar Bergman. His earlier film, Nightless Night, won a number of European film awards. Mr. Zane is currently in the process of filming a, t a feature titled Tom the Poet, in conversation, Mr. Zane comes across as a charismatic figure with big dreams. He talks about building a hotel and a film studio in the area. He even has a name picked out for the hotel. Ocean View Hotel. Huh. This reporter believes the name has a nice ring to it. Mr. Zane's dreams would certainly make Bright Falls a household name if it, they became reality. Members of the commune clearly feel the same, seeing Zane as a person worth revering, even to a faintly cult-like degree person who guides his flock to expand their consciousness and reach a higher state of artistic inspiration with the aid of magic mushrooms. While the Bright Falls record does not condone the use of illegal drugs, we hope Mr. Zane will help put our town on the artistic map. <clears throat> Interesting. All right. What do I need to do to get that thing open, huh? The power's off. Yeah, you can't knock the hustle. Cynthia Weaver had always kept her lantern close. Someone in the bathroom with her. In the dark. Dark water pressed itself into her. She screamed.
Cynthia Weaver hated being old. She'd been a doer, a fighter. Now the bathroom frightened her, afraid she'd break her hip, like Norman. Cynthia had always kept her lantern close to hold the darkness at bay. Oh dear, my lantern. I think I've lost it, Cynthia said. This will put a smile back on your face, my dear, a voice said. A man's voice. Someone in the bathroom with her, in the dark. The light bulb had blown. She meant to replace it days ago. How could she forget? She had slipped getting out of the tub. She lay in the tub now. She lifted her hand. It looked wrong. Too many hands. In a black void with no sense of up or down, she was underwater. A dark shape pushed her down. Dark water pressed itself into her. She screamed. It came out of bubbles. So this was done to her. <clears throat> That's a bummer. She was a fun character, real fan favorite. Rose, if you see this, please remind the residents to leave my stuff alone. They hate me. I think they hate me. Code 273. And that means I would have gotten it really quickly. I, if I kept going, I would have unlocked it and it would have been so cool. Could come in handy. All right, let's go start the generator again. So this was Tom's art collective. How are we supposed to get back here if not using these spooky grates? Is it, they're like just a blocked door or something, I think? I guess we could have gone through like these things, but it we just didn't have budge. access. Yeah. <clears throat> Rose spare fuse is now locked away because someone AT keeps stealing them. Code is in the laundry room. So yeah, it seems like Ati's been living here for a while. That's interesting. Has he been quote unquote on vacation this entire time? I mean, it's been multiple years since the events of control. I think. There. Power's back on. Because I think control happens around the time it actually came out. It was like 2019 or something in-game. Could be wrong about that, but... Someone save this poor CRT from this this mess. Gotta go to Cynthia's room, right? She's the drowned lady. Beware the drowned lady.
down? Was Cynthia into civil engineering? That's where she set her well-lit room, which was something that Thomas Zane put her on to do. Cynthia would deal with the nasty Anderson fellow, Tor, always poking people with his hammer. He had it coming. Cynthia Weaver smiled. Lost without her lantern? Nonsense. Cynthia felt as giddy as a young girl in love. Cynthia had loved Thomas Zane. Tom only had eyes for Barbara. Barbara was bad news. Tom had seen it in the end. Cynthia had been there to comfort him. And when he left, Cynthia waited. Years of waiting. Now Tom had come back to her. They'd be together now. See the world. She'd always dreamed of seeing New York. They were there now in a fancy hotel. She drew a bath. She would become like Barbara. No, better. She sank into dark water, into Tom. Tom had enemies plotting against him. Cynthia would deal with the nasty Anderson fellow, Tor, always poking people with his hammer. He had it coming. Anything for Tom. Hmm. Cynthia targeted Tor specifically. Why him? Deal with the nasty Anderson fellow. His heart was broken. Cancelled. Leaks started appearing. It was too late. Shut her out of her own case. The dark presence is using Cynthia to keep me from talking to Tor. Okay. The question here is, is Tom Scratch? Is he something darker or is he also being manipulated? Record isn't in the tub. We need to go to the museum. A lantern. That's what she looked like Was in the first. Using game. it for protection. Did she know about the dark presence? I'm guessing the woman in this photograph was not Cynthia's favorite. This is the well-lit room. I feel like I'm missing some context here. So this is the room in the dam that Cynthia basically rigged up to never be out of power and constantly be lit so the dark place couldn't get there. On command of Tom Zane. A power station. Hmm. Everyone needs a hobby, I guess. The diver. Oh. Why won't it let me use the key fob to get into there? Got nothing to say. Hmm. So is Ati the, uh, is Ati the one guarding that location, basically? Mysterious door no one knows anything about. Angus remorse. Grand by the old gods of Asgard to memorialize but the only gone. pressing of Cynthia the unreleased the single. She will tell me where remorse. to find it. Oh wow. Crash hotel rooms and ruined pools. Crowds go wild for the old gods of Asgard Ragnarok tour. The rock and roll group old, old gods of Asgard are leaving chaos in their wake as they plow through the major U.S. cities on their aptly named Ragnarok tour. The band is breaking their sales records with singles topping the charts and they had their latest sold out concert in Long Beach, California. Fans showed their love for reckless rockers by sharing the stage with Lacey Unmentionables, 
black roses, and even full beer bottles. None of this phase the stars themselves who embraced the admiration and transition from song to song with such gusto that the audience was left catching their breath, eager to keep up with the brothers Anderson and their cohorts. Uh, <clears throat> after hours shenanigans, after hours shenanigans for the musicians included pool in a private residential neighborhood left to be emptied and sanitized and a hotel room nearly destroyed in classical fashion, not to mention the lengthy room service bill gone unpaid. All things point to this band quickly becoming a strong contender to the iconic hall of fame rock groups that came before them, old gods of Asgard party like their namesakes and give a performance like no other. Be sure to catch them on their tour and bear witness to rock history in the making. Old Gods of Asgard, band member dead. Legendary heavy rock old god uh, rock band Old Gods of Asgard mourned the loss of their divinely talented guitarist, Bob Balder. Fat Bob, as he was affectionately and ironically called, died from complications of severe illness, leaving his bandmates Odin and Tor Anderson behind. The peace-loving musician will sorely be missed, also by the band's numerous fans. When asked about his loss, Tor Anderson had this to say, Get the expletive out of my face. Uh, Balder is in Valhalla now. He fought cancer like a hero. Bob was too beautiful soul for this world. Oh, Balder, gotcha, added Odin. What this means for the band and their upcoming album remains to be seen. Rock music is the ancient language of the soul, muted Old Gods of Asgard's lead singer. I sit down with the Anderson brothers of Old Gods of Asgard fame in the lobby of Rundown Hotel somewhere in downtown Detroit. Currently on their Ragnarok hit tour, the busy band members have only a moment to spare to a fledgling journalist and his questions before running off to the sound check for their concert tonight. <clears throat> How has the reception been? Amazing. The fans understand what we're about. They get rock and roll. They get the spirit. They know we're not here to fuck around. That's fucking right. Why do you do what you do? I can tell you you're new at this, buddy. Why does anyone do what they do? For the glory, for the fame, for the money and the sex? Or because you have something inside you that's going to fucking burst out if you don't start using it? It's the latter. Good answer. How about music, then? What is it about music that compels you? That should be pretty fucking obvious. This is boring me to death, bro. Let's get moving. Sorry, he's always impatient. As I stand up to leave for the tour bus waiting outside, the larger-than-life rockers turn around for one final quote. Music, especially rock and roll, is the ancient music of the soul, man. Or, the ancient language of the soul, man. It's in me. It's godly, and it'll come out like a fucking thunderstorm. Nice. So we have to find Anger's Remorse. Which means we gotta profile Cynthia and Odin. Anger's remorse is missing. Who took it? Our shame becomes the pale horse. Oh, Tor. Bro. Tor's love for you is in that song. That's why Cynthia wants it. To ruin him. She made Tor lust after her. We fought one scratching hag years ago. Now he's fallen for another, and we might lose him for good. One less Anderson. That isn't going to happen. Cynthia has torn the overlap. Mm -hmm. Anger's remorse is the key to get there. I need to make Cynthia reveal its location. So Cynthia is the new scratching hag. Which is interesting, because I guess we did technically fight one in the past, in the first game. I can't remember what her name was, though. It might have been Baba Yakala. It might have been. Where is Angus Remorse now? He is a young girl in lust. A rock and roll princess. The shadows to come alive. A gift. An arm of death. She has the record. I can get it out of her. Angus Remorse. Where is it, Cynthia? Drowned beneath dark water. Too many hands. The bathroom frightened her. Cut short. She screamed. An old folks care home. Yep. The Angus Remorse record is in Cynthia's room, in her bathtub. All right. A 
bathtub, a pond, a lake. There's a theme here. Cynthia took the record and I brought it back. Exactly as Alan saw it in the dark place. Angus Remorse by Old Gods of Asgard. I need to play it in the jukebox. I like the idea that Saga isn't even scared anymore. She's not even nervous about this. She is just moving forward. She has figured out how to interface with this supernatural mystery and is ready to just rock and fucking roll. Oh dear. Oh god, she has so many arms. This is the coolest looking enemy in a video game ever. Was strapped down. This is the one that was strapped down due to dementia, I think, right? Okay. The song will show me the way. Look. Angers Remorse mentions the man I drove away. Is it Warland Door? The mirror, the cobweb of my soul. My face forever, seeking to be whole. Driven by passion, raging like a storm. With thunder and lightning, and the shiverous out. Okay. The drowned lady, this is what Alan saw. This is the dam. Are we in the dam right now? Right Falls record, body of missing youth discovered in flooded bunker. Oh, this is the bunker. The local girl, girl, Nora Hesberg, age 15, who went missing on Saturday of last week, was discovered dead in the sealed underground bunker in Valhalla, near Valhalla Nursing Home in Bright Falls. The cause of death has been determined to be drowning. The incident occurred during a gathering of local youths at the bunker. Nora was first reported missing by her parents Sunday morning when they discovered their daughter had not returned home the night before. The police were contacted, and they received a tip to check the bunker from one of the victim's acquaintances. Police are treating the tragedy as an accident. The community mourns the loss of its young member. Huh. Nothing in there. Yep. 
This is what this Alan place. saw. Beware the drowned lady. That's not right. Am I, Am I stuck in a in loop? Circles? Yes. You were. Hey, Saga, let's go. So we're in a bunker right now. Interesting. Hmm. we move further into the darkness of the overlap. Generator time. Oop. No, bummer. Let's go, Saga. So why did we turn that on? What's the purpose of that? To do this? The wall just ah. disappeared. The light did that? Ah, so these overlaps do overlap directly with the dark place, so the light affects this. Interesting. So we're starting to get some Allen mechanics with Saga now. could see where it loaded in the, the edge of the loop. It'd be different now, isn't it? Or is this the way I came? Hold on. Which way am I trying to go? I'm a little bit lost. Guess in here, because I've never been in here before. Huh. Sure, we'll take stuff. Thank you for the batteries. What was a bunker originally built for? Uh, I think it was a bunker. <laughs> I think it was just a prep bunker for not dying in nuclear fallout. It's my guess. It's unclear, really. They haven't given us any any information about it. Locked. The key has to be nearby. Or sure does. Light it up.
absolutely want that rifle ammo. That's for sure. Oh, are we gonna get bolt cutters now? That would be great. Bard says like a Cold War era bunker? Probably. It's unclear. It's unclear when, when this takes place or like what the purpose was. I don't think we've really learned much about it, so. Tool cabinet, yes, we got the bolt cutters, finally. Oh, yes. Fuck the government, we have bolt cutters, exactly. Do not mess with me. You cannot do it. I keep telling these enemies they try to mess with me, I'm gonna kill them. And you know what they say to me? They say, Toaster, I'm gonna mess with you. And I say, Game, please, have I not demonstrated that I am, I am the prime gamer here, for real. Can't interact with that anymore. <clears throat> so many flares. I will take that though. There, nice. Now, is there a shoebox anywhere? Come on, game could could at least give me one so I could pick up the nice flare thing, but I guess we can't have nice things. Let's uh actually make sure all of our weapons are reloaded. They are. Bummer. All right, onward we go, I guess. And there isn't a shoebox in there, is there? There is not. Rats. Okay. Man, Saga's missions are just so survival horror. They're so terrifying. <laughs> That's kind of neat. I just occluded to the environment. Look, you can see the culling when I break through there. If you move the camera quickly enough, you can kind of see down into the room down there. Kind of neat. I like stuff like that. Video games. Oh, we're back here. Another loop. Back again. Gotta go deeper. More pistol ammo, thank you. More battery, also thank you. Oh, Splinter bought some gift subs, thanks Tour. Splinter. Huh. Dark water. 
You took Tor. I'm here to take him back. I can't stay in the water. I need to get the lights on to reach him. So damn dark down here. I'm underwater. She's trapped me. I don't think I'm gonna make it. All right, gotta run through the water quickly so she can't get us. Gotta find a way to turn on these lights. I see. Okay. All right, let's do it. What is Cynthia's current goal? Uh, I don't think this is really Cynthia so much as the dark place puppeting her body, but they're trying to block Tor um, from helping Saga. Let's really quickly just use some of these patches. There must be a way to get the power back on. Uh, yeah, so right now I think Cynthia is just controlled by the Dark Presence. There's no, I don't think there's much to it besides that. She's trying to control, or the Dark Presence is trying to control her and prevent the rest of them from from saving there we go. I can't stay in the water. Uh, trying to prevent the rest of them from saving Tor. to him yourself I'm getting you the hell out of here where is he though is it just over here can't pick those up don't really care to don't really need them man we are really resource rich right now <laughs> We just don't need to worry about that at all. Oh, I see. The area is no longer flooded down here. right there. Okay. Well, good to know that she throws her projectiles at us. I have a bunch of manuscript pages. I should probably upgrade my abilities. I keep forgetting to do that. We've collected a ton of them. If it didn't, if it didn't save me in the boss fight, I'll really quickly do that right now. It didn't. Perfect. All right. Manuscript pages time. 
or not manuscript pages, uh, weapon upgrades time. We need to do that. Stand still to enter and improve focus. This mode grants perfect accuracy, pulls shots towards enemy weak spots, and deals increased damage. Bullets penetrate the enemy's darkness shield. That's pretty good. Definitely getting kill shot. Saga stood still, emptying her mind, focusing, breathing in, breathing out. She aimed the rifle, ready for the kill shot. All right. Go back down and try this fight again. <laughs> I think I want to uh, do this. I need to use these like Molotovs, and I haven't been using them because they don't seem very good. But we're gonna try. We're gonna try right here, right now. Make it happen. Goodbye, Cynthia Weaver. And you again. The FBI agent. Saga Anderson. I'm closer now. I can feel it. You help me get closer to escaping. Wake? Where are you? Is this coming from the dark place when you were still trapped? I have the clicker. We can finish this. What about the clicker? You can help. We, we, we must find it. I already have it. I can get it to you. But I have to understand. Did you write Logan into the story? Black in danger. I need to get back. I'm writing a story. It's the only way. Then change the story. If this is the past. If this is you, still in the dark place, then you can do that, right? You cannot write her in. She's my daughter, goddammit! I like how reasonable Saga is about all this. She's approaching it. Story. I can get him to change it. I have the clicker. I'll make him change it now. He had no right to do this to Logan. To my family. Oh, oh, fucking hell. Are you okay? Uh, hey, you took your sweet time to come save your grandpa, huh? Uh. Nice attitude. A family trait? <laughs> uh, uh, you're right. Sorry. Thanks for helping out an old bastard like me. That's my job. Now, I've got some questions for you. <laughs> of course you do, sweetie pie. <laughs> I got answers. <laughs> End of chapter.